Hello and welcome to the AI with Arun show. In this week, we are covering the extreme capital required to fuel the AI race, the new era of dynamically mutating cyber threats and the massive deals bringing trillion parameter AI right into your pocket. We'll break down the essential global updates you need to know for this week. So let's get started. Our top story is all about scale and power. The AI race is not just about algorithms. It's about hardware and capital expenditure. OpenAI just finalized a multi-year $38 billion partnership with AWS. The colossal deal locks in the vast capital computing resources and the hundreds of thousands of NVIDIA GPUs needed to train and deploy the next generation models, rumored to include GPT-6. This kind of exponential cost has world leaders worried. Both OpenAI CEO Sam Altman and Anthropic CEO have been urging governments worldwide to build their own sovereign AI infrastructure, stressing that the sector's growth is severely hampered by compute limitations. It's an arms race where everyone is trying to secure their future. Even the video platform Rumble is making a massive 767 million purchase of Northern data explicitly to build its own data centers and secure vital GPU resources, aiming to rival giants like Amazon and Alphabet. Speaking of hardware, NVIDIA is the single most dominant force in this story. Their new Blackwell architecture just powered a clean sweep at the ML training benchmarks, cementing their leadership in high-performance AI hardware. This dominance has led to a staggering valuation of $4.5 trillion, making NVIDIA the world's most valuable company. This extreme concentration is now sparking policy fear. Some AI companies are reportedly unwilling to challenge NVIDIA due to their own total dependency on the company for critical hardware supply. But the competition is fighting back. Google launched its custom Axion CPUs and 7th gen Ironwood TPUs for its cloud AI offering, reportedly surpassing leading competitors in performance and aiming to increase the scale and speed of next gen AI systems worldwide. And in a move that signals geopolitical priorities, Microsoft secured US government approval to export advanced NVIDIA GPUs to data centers in the UAE, solidifying the UAE's push to become a global AI hub in a planned $15 billion investment. Now let's talk about the intelligence itself. OpenAI is rolling out its latest flagship model, GPT 5.1, which features enhanced speed, better personalization, and context-aware dialogue styles, pushing GPT, chat GPT, towards becoming an even more adaptive and human-like conversational AI. It's an incremental, significant step up in fluency. OpenAI is also integrating new features for collaboration, in, include introducing group chats in ChatGPT, allowing teams to interact with a shared AI agent. But the biggest shock wave this month came from China. Baidu announced that its latest Ernie multinational multimodal AI model surpassed both OpenAI's GPT and Google's Gemini on key industry benchmarks. The announcement solidifies the narrative that China is rapidly closing and in some cases surpassing the performance gap in frontier AI models. The race for global model supremacy is officially neck and neck. The shift from text to multimedia creation is accelerating wildly. Elon Musk's XAI company just dropped Grok Imagine, a feature allowing users to generate short professional quality video clips from simple text prompts in under 17 seconds. This rapid generation speed democratizes high quality video creation and puts immediate pressure on rivals like Sora and Google's Vio. Meanwhile, Meta made a monumental breakthrough in global communication. They released their multi or omnilingual automatic speech recognition system, an open source tool that provides high accuracy transcription and translation for over 1600 languages. This is a huge leap towards breaking down language barriers, especially for low resource and marginalized languages. To cap off the content revolution, Character AI and Yale launched Ovi, a technology resolves a persistent problem in synthetic media, generating perfectly synchronized audio and video content, paving the way for hyper-realistic deepfakes and high-fidelity AI voice, voice cloning. Now, how will this advanced AI reach you? the user through the devices that you use every day. The news solidified this month that Apple plans to integrate Google's powerful Gemini AI to supercharge Siri's capabilities. 
This means that trillion parameter intelligence is finally coming to the mass market consumer device landscape, accelerating the arrival of truly context aware assistance. Google isn't waiting for Apple. It integrated the Gemini AI model directly into Google Maps, offering hands free conversational navigation that provides directions based on real world landmarks and proactive traffic alerts. This is a massive high frequency deployment of advanced generative AI into a core daily utility for billions of users. And Amazon is focusing on democratizing content, debuting Kindle Translate, an AI tool that translates instantly and republishes books in multiple languages, dramatically lowering barriers for authors and readers globally. The regulators are trying desperately to catch up to the technology. In Europe, the landmark EU AI Act has started imposing major compliance requirements on developers of general purpose AI models, mandating transparency and ethical reporting. However, the EU is also looking to ease restrictions to spur development. The European Commission proposed amending the GDPR to allow tech firms to use personal data for AI training under a legitimate interest basis, provided identifiable data is removed. Critics are already warning that this proposal risks eroding core privacy protections. Across the world, China is strengthening its oversight, announcing three new national standards designed to govern the security, ethics, and governance of generative AI, ensuring stricter compliance for its domestic tech companies. In the US, the lack of unified federal standards has led to a patchwork mess. In 2025 alone, 38 U.S. states have enacted over 100 new AI-related laws, creating a fragmented and complex regulatory environment for every company operating nationally. Leading states like California are launching new rulemaking for automated decision-making technology, setting some of the country's strictest precedents for privacy and consumer protection. Simultaneously, the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, or the SEC, warned listed companies that their AI-related disclosures and governance will face increased enforcement, particularly regarding risk controls and transparency. Attempting to bridge this gap, OpenAI and Microsoft are partnering with state attorneys generals from North Carolina and Utah to form an AI task force focused on developing voluntary safeguards, especially for preventing harm to children. Wall Street felt the chill this month. Global stock markets led by the tech Heavy Nasdaq experienced sharp falls. Why? Because increased warnings from major financial institutions about an AI valuation bubble fueled investor caution and led to the first substantial correction in semiconductor stocks like Nvidia. Yet the money keeps flowing. Asian investment groups led by SoftBank posted significant gains as markets globally revalued the long-term growth potential of large-scale AI platforms intensifying competition with U.S. rivals. In a massive vote of confidence, Warren Buffet's Berkshire Hathaway increased its alphabet holdings, betting on Google's AI leadership despite bubble fears. But economists warn this wealth concentration is problematic. The ongoing surge in AI-related equities is widening income and wealth inequalities as investors in high-tech assets reap outsized gains, raising serious questions about economic policy and social equity. Despite the bubble fears, investments into specialized AI tools is surging. The AI coding company Cursor AI secured an astronomical 2.3 billion in Series D funding at a 29.3 valuation. Now this mega round underscores investor confidence in AI-driven software engineering and the transformation of global coding efficiency. The goal is automation across the enterprise. Kama, an AI tool for slide creation, raised 68 million to revolutionize presentations. Salesforce acquired Dirty AI for 100 million to integrate agentic AI for workplace automation into its Slack ecosystem. And GenSpark achieved unicorn status, raising over 200 million for all its AI tools specializing in building custom AI assistance for enterprise automation. And Cognizant just acquired 3Cloud, which is a leading Microsoft Azure partner. And as a result of this outcome, Cognizant has also acquired 1,000 plus Azure AI experts. The month marked a dark turn in cybersecurity. Google's threat intelligence group warned the world about Prompt Flux, a new highly dangerous form of malware. 
This sophisticated virus uses generative AI technology to dynamically rewrite its own code, allowing it to shape, shift, and bypass traditional signature-based antivirus defenses. This adaptive threat represents a major escalation in the global cybersecurity landscape. The response is to fight fire with fire. OpenAI has launched Adwart, an autonomous security agent in private beta designed to continuously analyze code, identify vulnerabilities, and generate targeted security patches 24 by 7. This is a major step towards automated agentic AI defense. Meanwhile, cybersecurity leader Checkpoint acquired Lakera, integrating AI native defenses and red teaming for full lifecycle protection of AI models. The legal risks of general purpose AI are forcing self-regulation. Citing surging regulatory pressures, OpenAI implemented a new policy to shut down personalized medical, legal, and financial advice capabilities within ChatGPT, shifting the models towards safer education-only responses. This demonstrates the immediate commercial re reality of liability in high-stakes fields. This retreat comes right after a major security lapse. Sensitive, personalized conversation data from ChatGPT was unintentionally leaked into a Google search console. This exposes the risk inherent in the complex infrastructure supporting LLMs. Finally, the fight over agentic AI is heating up. AI search startup perplexity publicly accused Amazon of bullying after receiving a legal threat aimed at blocking its AI shopping assistant tools. This dispute raises fundamental questions about corporate control over platforms and the ability of new AI agents to compete. Despite the dangers, AI is delivering tangible life-saving benefits. Researchers developed a new prediction method that achieved results in medical and health data shockingly close to real-world outcomes. Moving beyond simple error reduction to achieving true predictive fidelity, this fidelity could profoundly enhance clinical diagnostics. In public health, new mobile X-ray units powered by AI are being deployed in low-income nations to rapidly screen for tuberculosis and other infectious diseases. In the financial world, Federal Reserve Governor Michael S. Barr detailed the Fed's enterprise-wide AI program, emphasizing risk management for applications in credit decisions and trading to mitigate systemic risks. And Google Finance adopted Gemini AI for deep search and live audio streams of corporate earnings, fundamentally reshaping how financial research is conducted. The geopolitical tension around AI is rising. NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang, the man whose chips power the entire industry, warned that China is poised to dominate the global AI race due to perceived regulatory and energy cost advantages. We are seeing China's strategy accelerate. Chinese EV firm Zipeng launched robotaxis and mass-produced humanoid robots powered by its proprietary AI chips, directly challenging US leaders in autonomous mobility and robotics. Moreover, Chinese startups are achieving algorithmic edges by pioneering transformer attention mechanism and innovations that reduce compute needs while maintaining performance. Meanwhile, Microsoft launched the Humanist Super Intelligence Initiative, or the HSI Initiative, focusing on challenge-specific AI to address global problems framed as a philosophical counterbalance to the general purpose AGI race. Finally, we address the unseen cost of the massive acceleration, which is energy. Goldman Sachs research forecasted that global data center power demand will increase by as much as 165% by the end of the decade, largely driven by the appetite of frontier AI. This surge is already creating real-world utility scale crisis. In high demand markets like Ohio and Maryland, this energy demand is leading to significant electricity price hikes for consumers with an increase of $16 to $18 on a monthly bills. The bottom line is this. The global AI race is now a defining factor in global energy and climate policy, directly impacting the power bills in your own home. With that, we come to the end of the show. Stay alert by clicking on notifications or the bell icons at the bottom of the video. And please support our work by joining us as a member. If you learned anything in this video, please like, share, and subscribe to the AI with Arun show. Thank you so much for watching.